you believe that creation of the Federal Reserve was done for malicious purposes or just through status, central planning, going awry? I think it was very malicious. Uh, and I think it was designed to benefit the very wealthy. It wasn't a grassroots organization that came together over Facebook. <laughs> it, was, it was done by the bankers. It was done in secrecy. It was done uh, to put more power into the banks. It was done to put more power into the government. I mean, this whole idea of government control over money has been around for a long, long time. It just changes the way they do it. But uh, no, a very powerful interest, and that's why we get so much resistance. And it's also, I think, uh, you, you know, uh, Norm Singleton's here with Campaign for Liberty, and they've done a great job over the years with uh, arguing on the Fed bill, you know, transparency. No, I think they're up to no good. Uh, economically, we don't need it. That doesn't mean there aren't some people who, you know, maybe in academia or others might just say, well, no, it's necessary. If you want just anarchy and money, you can't have that. You have to have smart people running this monetary system. But uh, I, think, I think our side of the argument will become much clearer uh, when this all evolves, just like the collapse of the Soviet system was very clear that communism wasn't a very good system.